And our Facebook page has been very busy this last week as we asked if you had any burning beauty questions for our guru Trudy Brewer to answer this morning. And it seems that yes, a lot of you do have questions for Trudy. Trudy, good morning. Good morning. Shall I just roll through these questions and oh, you can answer them? Hit me with them. I did have a little pre-look, so I'm ready. Okay, good. Uh, this is from Petty Harpeter. Can Trudy recommend a good mascara, especially lash building ones? Now, I read that question and instantly thought I would love to meet her and say it's all about the brush, the bigger the better. So formula aside, look for a brush that is really fat so that you can build up your lashes. And I always tell women to put the mascara um, wand right at the base of the lashes and wiggle it and then comb it through. Wait for it to dry for a couple of seconds and then apply another coat. And pretty much most formulas are the same, to be fair. Um, but look for a big fat brush. Um, I think if I had favourites, they would have to be the Bobbi Brown Extreme Party Mascara, which mm -hmm. is amazing. The brush is huge. Revlon do a great range of brushes, a really good price point. And um, I was talking about this earlier with Alex, um, Too Faced. It's called Better Than Sex Mascara. I use it. We've talked about it before. We have used that. That's perfect. Okay, great. Thank you. Question well answered. This is from Marion Pettigrew. What is the best product that you would recommend to remove makeup at the end of a work day? I like to use a facial oil. And I'll tell you why. Because at the end of the day, your skin is generally quite dry. Dehydrated, especially at this time of the year. So a lovely facial oil can take off infallible makeup. It'll take off foundation and the grime from the day as well. Um, and then I switch it up and use a micellar water or a foam cleanser for, for morning because in the morning you want to refresh your skin and at night you want to hydrate your skin and you know what that feeling is like when you've cleansed and it's really you know parched and dry and tight yeah so a facial oil is beautiful it's going to stop that one from happening yeah okay yeah wendy darling says what's the best beauty routine for an almost 50 year old grandma that's still young at heart 50 is still young it's all right oh, darling and still wears makeup and uh, but not too often so Wendy, for a starter, 50's not old. Look at Halle Berry. She's rocking it. Yeah. Um, and I think it all starts with cleansing for me. I mean, as you get older, you need to invest in your skin. So cleansing's a cornerstone. Investing in a great serum or a facial oil, which we've talked about before. Those contain the most potent ingredients. So if you're wanting to make skin changes, then you need something that's actually going to really activate your skin. Uh, a beautiful oil or a, a, a serum under your moisturiser. Always put that on first. So cleanse and if you like to tone. And then pop on your serum and oil and then you can put on your sunscreen the day or your moisturiser for night. You've got it. Juanita Riley wants to know, Trudy, can you please suggest a good eye cream for puffy eyes? I tend to carry all my baggage under my eyes oh. and always have bags under them. Yeah, I, know I you feel, feel for her because that's <laughs> a real issue. And actually, to be fair, I mean, I want to say I've got the magic bullet, but I don't. Often puffiness is water retention. Um, a lot of women to use too much eye cream and then they find that their eyes are puffy because it's actually gravi you know, moved in the night while you're asleep. Okay, so Warmed up, got into the eyes and it makes it puffy. Um, I would try sleeping slightly elevated with the head. You know, at night time an extra pillow can sometimes help drain all that water retention. And if, if those things work, then it is definitely water retention. Otherwise, switch up a cream for a lovely light gel. Um, that usually helps with a puffy, puffy eye situation. But just, just often it's what's going on inside more than, than the eye area or the eye cream that you're using. Okay. A uh, question from Kerry Wheeler. Who, who does Trudy recommend for a night cream that doesn't break the bank for the Nifty 50s? I, you can't go past Neutrogena. It's available in the supermarket. The rapid wrinkle is insanely good full of vitamin A, retinol, so it's great for helping your skin turn over. Um, I'm concerned that these women feel that they're old at 50. They're not. They're, they're at the prime of their life. Nicole and Kidman. Exactly. Julia Roberts. We could, we could Halle Berry. Yeah. Jennifer um, Lopez, practically. And, you know, you can't go past a great beauty buy at the supermarket. You know, Neutrogena, Olay have some brilliant um, okay. night creams. So you get the recommendations. Yeah, it's all about. I, I have a look. Okay, Amy Butcher wants to know, when is the best time to do our skincare routine, morning or night? Or should we be doing it twice a day? And is cleanse, tone and moisturise enough? I think twice a day. You've got to cleanse your skin twice a day. Um, you need to moisturise when your skin needs it. Um, and I think, you know, really it's about 
how your skin performs. Like if your skin's looking dry, it's because it needs needs moisture. But definitely twice a day. You can't get away with once a day. So. Okay, okay, twice a day. And Tina Jensen wants to know, is it okay to use different brands of cleansers, toners and moisturiser? I am a mum of three, busy, and all of the products I use are all different brands. Do they still do the same job? Absolutely. I mean, it's marketing hype to say that you've got to use the same range of everything. I mix it up, shake it up, use whatever you like that makes your skin feel great. Okay, so you just yeah. mix it up and use what works for you. Yeah, and don't use the same thing all the time. I think your skin gets used to it. You know, try yeah. new things. You know, give it a bit of a shake up. Excellent. Hey, that's been very, very helpful. I hope it's helped oh. everyone else too. Trudy, thank Pleasure. you so much. Thank you. Now, for more of Trudy's top tips, you can head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.